Okay, first FPV flight of the Manta Hala 600. Shockingly quiet, it definitely feels like it's not working. Smooth operator though, huh? Especially for something so big. So today I'm out testing another new build here at the test field except that this one is a long time coming this has been a, a project i've been working on for many months and excited to finally be out here um, for a test flight so i went out did a quick hover everything checked out and uh, what we have now is the first test with this drone with a cinema camera mounted so this is the Nantahala X8 drone, which is a Beast Class drone, Beast Class electronics, but in an eight rotor configuration. Yeah, the thinking here being that it would have a lot of lifting power and be agile, fast, and maneuverable, but also smooth and really in control, even with a, a big payload. So, some of the things that like a big X8 cinema drone some of those attributes, but in an FPV, you know, racing drone format. So this big guy was a, was a big project to build because it has eight APD ESCs, two PDBs, and a flight controller, and then runs on DJI's control link and an FPV feed. It's built to carry a wide range of platforms um, in terms of camera. A big flat platform on top could uh, be adapted to carry any number of SLRs or small cinema cameras uh, from the Z-Cam or the Sigma FP or um, the new red Komodo when that rolls out later this year. It would probably be a great fit. So it's exciting. Lots, um, a lot of potential for cinema here. A drone that's very fast, um, very agile, and yet has a lot of like lifting power stability and smoothness so that's the goal here we go the maiden flight of the z cam equipped nanta hala Seems to hover well. Seems to be happy enough. <laughs> All right, we're up. It's got a little bit more throttle to handle the weight. So it needs a little bit more throttle, rather, compared to flying empty, which is good. Feels pretty. Uh, Pretty smooth, a little drifty. It's good to see the voltage is not dropping too fast. Alright, how smooth does that look?
So I worked with Stefan at Stand and Quads to design this, the, the frame. It's um, his design, and then I had a, some input along the way in ways that could uh, serve the cinema purposes best. So what we've what we've landed on here is a is a drone with a lot of power and a lot of smoothness and a lot of flexibility for payload. I had the chance to to name it, which is exciting, and named it after a river in my home home state, the motherland of North Carolina. Uh, we needed a name that kind of like captured the you know the power and the speed um, this thing was designed with. It definitely is living up to the idea of power and smoothness. I used to raft on that river in the summers and I you know, remember I have a lot of happy memories up there in the mountains. So even though we're in California, it's a shout out to North Carolina with the naming. Real smooth, nice glider. It's got just like the smaller X8 it has a little bit of a of a drift. You know, it's not as um, on rails as a quad would be. It's definitely feels like an X8, so it feels stable and smooth and responsive, and with just this kind of glide quality to it, just like we saw in the smaller X8. Yeah, so I'm really happy. I'd, that's the easiest ever felt to fly that kind of payload on an FPV drone. <laughs> I'm shooting a car at, or at least one shot for one. So it's a waiting game while the other teams do their part and then before long, we'll put the Inspire up for a quick aerial shot. It's exciting, big day, big weekend up here in sunny Petaluma. Day two on this car ride. It's a big production, and it seems like the bigger the production, the more time you have kind of waiting. It feels like baseball. It's like you sit in the dugout waiting for your chance at bat, and then, you know, pressure's on for like 90 seconds. <laughs> it's like, okay, send up the drone. The drone goes up, nail the shot, you get it down fast, because whatever next, you know, there's like 15 guys waiting off to the side to do their, whatever they're waiting to do to move, the, move some lights or move the crane or whatever it is. So it's, it's a uh, high stakes and a lot of downtime. But that said, it's going well. They're happy with the content we're getting. Um, just you know, easy stuff on the Inspire, so nothing, nothing exciting from a piloting standpoint. It's been awesome. We're gonna Jordan, who's a great shooter. It's cool to catch up with the guys from Wild Rabbit Aerial yesterday, who are doing the drone work on the video side. Cool guys, they do awesome, awesome work, of course. Okay. Shoot a firefighter. Today we're going to try the Stead X, sorry, the Stead XP on the Z-Cam for a little post stabilization. Just a, just testing it. So shooting 4K. It's like a little gyro that measures the, the movement of the camera and then can compensate in post-production in its own software in order to uh, cancel out some of those motions, unwanted motions. I'm trying to say hi to you. Hey, hey. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Stay back behind me, Mikey. I am. Goggle recording, camera recording. My chilly fingers, how about you?
Which turn's your favorite? Which one? Mm -hmm. The big room one. The big one over there behind us? The company that made it is called BFD. 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 Do you know what BFD stands for? What? Big F word drunk. F word. F Don't word. say the F word. Don't say it. What? what? Don't say that. Don't say that. <laughs> what do you say? What's the F word? You shouldn't know what the F word is. How do you know that? <laughs> Told you that. Who <laughs> told you what the F word was? Nobody. I'm